Alright guys, this is the first time in a few months, but I'm making a Jordan Incredible 2 video for you guys. And this is going to be on the how to install a mixture of Paranoid Android, AOKP, and CM, which is called a PacRom. You see right here. I will provide a link in the description for this thread, so you're just going to want to head on over to here. And scroll on down to where it says a download. So I missed it, and it's going to be right here. The incredibly paranoid 2.18.10. As you see right here, this is the updated pack ROM, so that's the one that you're going to want to download. And actually, once you click on this, it's going to take you to this dev host site. So you're actually going to download it from there, and then you're going to want to grab the G apps as well. Now you want the 4.1 G apps, which are the 1011. I will be providing a link for the thread. Pretty sure you guys can figure out how to get the G apps. All right, and once you do that, you're going to want to copy over those two files, the incredibly paranoid pack ROM, which is right here, and the G apps. So copy these two over to your SD card by plugging in your phone and just, you know, clicking and drag and drop them onto your SD card, or you can use a micro SD card adapter for your computer. Now, once they're on your SD card, power your phone off. Press and hold volume down and power until you you will get into this menu right here. And what you're going to want to do now is go down to recovery. Well, wait for this to check. And now use volume down to go to recovery and then press power on recovery. Now, it doesn't matter which recovery you are using. You can use Torp or you can use Clockwork Mod. That is all right. I am using Team Win because I had to use this for the CM10 based ROM that I was I flashed. And what you're going to want to do is go to wipe. You are going to want to go to wipe factory reset. You are going to go to swipe to wipe. Alright, and you're going to go back. Now you can do system, it's up to you. I'm going to, just to clear out any unwanted files. Make sure you make a backup and also backup all of your apps if you plan on restoring them. Use Titanium Backup to backup your apps, that's what I use. And then you're going to want to wipe cache and wipe Dalva cache. And now you're going to go back, you're going to go to install, and you're going to want to find that folder. In this case, it's my SD card and download folder. And you're going to want to select the incredibly paranoid 2.zip. Now this may be different if there's an updated you know, file to this. And then if you want, you can go to add more zips and select the G apps. Now it's going to flash at both of these. See it's flashing the ROM and then it's going to flash the G apps after. If you're using Clockwork Mod, just you know install each zip separately. So this shouldn't take too long. See it says flashing file of one of two. I like always like reading like the little things that the devs put. What's this? What's going on? Something is happening. I have no idea. You see right there. On the uh I think it was a CM ten based drama, it said it was mounting this, you know, get it, cause never mind. I'll just quit. Something else is happening. I'm getting scared. OMG, no, I don't know what to do. I'm getting paranoid. In case you guys don't know, that's paranoid Android. Because he's, well, if, if you guys don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but, you know. See a little Pac-Man? Just Pac-Man ROM. You guys have probably heard of Pac-Man ROM for multiple devices. We'll see on the Galaxy Nexus. Actually, it's mainly on Samsung devices, but. And G apps are almost done. In case you guys are wondering, that time is wrong. It's actually like 152, I think. Yeah, I don't know why this is like an hour back. Okay, now if you are S off, you can hit reboot system now. But I am not, so I have to reboot into the bootloader. Because S. 
us S on users who never went the S off route. See, I am just unlocked with S on, so I have to flash the boot image. And what you're going to want to do is if you reboot the bootloader, you are already in fast boot mode. But say you were in this menu right here, where if you just press and hold volume down and power, you'll boot into the bootloader. You're going to wait for this to check. And you see how fast boot is highlighted? Just press power. Now it will say fast boot up there, and you are going to want to plug in your phone. Plug in your phone to the computer, and you will see fast boot USB. So now what you're going to want to do is go back to your computer and unzip this ROM right here. I have seven zips, so it's just extract two and then that folder, and you will get this. Now once you are here, you will see a boot image. So what you're going to want to do is press and hold shift and open command window here. And once you are in this folder right here, you are just want to you just want to flash the boot image. So fast boot. Sorry. Fast boot. Flash boot. Boot.img. So fast boot flash boot boot.img to enter it says sending okay writing and it is finished so what you're going to want to do is go back to your phone we can unplug our phone now oops sorry and now we can just go back to go down actually and hit reboot if, if you are s off you do not have to do that step but I was just showing the S on users. You want to make sure you have the Android SDK. You want to make sure you have the HTC drivers. And you want to make sure you have the paths set up. So when you type fast boot devices, you should you should see like a, your device listed. If you don't have the correct paths and like for everything just search how to install the Android SDK there's multiple videos on YouTube I never did it because it takes like three steps I think you download off the Google website then you install the Eclipse so I mean it's pretty easy and then HTC drivers if you need those I have those in my Dropbox but this will take a minute or two to fully boot up so I will be back Alright, and the lights have just flashed, so that means we're getting there. Yeah, it does have a pretty cool boot animation, though. If you go to the thread, you'll see that the dude's signature is actually this boot up animation, which is kind of cool. Let me show you guys. See? That's the dude's signature. Well, you can't see it because it's focused on this. And then you can see the dude's signature, how they kind of match up. That's kind of cool. I seen the lights flash. So I figured it would boot up at any minute. Let's bring this back in for you guys. Come on, phone. You got this. And also, one way to make your phone faster is to flash the supercharger. It is a script. If you head on over to this thread right here, I will provide a link for this actually. And it shows you how to install this. It's not as hard as you think. This is the full thread on where you get the downloads and stuff like that. But you can also get this focus for you guys. If you flash the supercharger, it makes your phone incredibly faster. This is where you download everything. Just follow this guide right there. And then this guy made an extremely easy to follow guide where you need BusyBox, a script manager, the script, and then the current kernelizer script. And then he makes a detailed list of how you install it. And it's actually pretty easy for you guys. So I will provide a link in the description for this helpful guide and also for the original post. And let's get this focus back. So we are finally booted up. I don't know why it says AIM down there, but we are going to hit start, and I'm going to get no, not now, so you see 3G works right away, 
I'm gonna skip all this. First name? I don't have one. Ah, just joking. Now, as, as you guys may know, I don't use this phone, so that's why I'm not setting it up. So this has the Trebuchet and Xperia launcher. On the thread, it does say that the Xperia launcher does force close. It seems to be loading up just fine, actually. Let's try to go into the app drawer. So Xperia seems to be loading up just fine. I do prefer the Trebuchet because it gives it a more stock look, as you guys see here. So if we open this up, click OK, of course. And you see, we, we do have four extension re recovery installer. I have the paid app that allows you to do more than just install the recovery. You guys should probably get that. It's a neat app. And this does have awesome beats. has a themed messaging, which is kind of neat. It has Facebook iced. I'm pretty sure that's just a theme to Facebook. Root browser light. Oh, it has a Walkman. I have the Note 2, and I, I love the Walkman music player go back we do have XDA we have super user instead of super SU which I like better anyways and try the camera camera loads up just fine takes picture just fine oh well well if you scroll over so it shows like a greenish tint after it takes the picture but it does load the picture up just fine so if we go into settings let's check this out and this is where the paranoid Android kind of steps in a little bit. So this is kind of hard to not, this is hard to see. Um, let's go down to About Phone. See, we are running on Android 4.1.2. And let's go over. So we have a lot of options. We have Launcher, we have Lock Screen, Theme, System, Paranoid Settings, ROM Control. So we have AOKP, we have Cyanogen Mod, we have we have everything on this ROM. I will be doing a first impressions look for that tomorrow since it is 156. Look for a full review and I may be doing my full review tomorrow because I'm going to be playing with this pretty heavily installing apps and stuff like that. So be sure to look for that and I will see you guys in hopefully the next video will be the quick look and updated review of this but if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see any more videos like this, just leave a comment below saying what you want to see. Um, they need to fix their wallpapers. They're, they're kind of creepy looking. But I will see you guys in the next video.